know that space has a lot of stars and galaxies. And we know that we live on the planet Earth. But Earth is not the only planet that is a part of our solar system. In fact, there are eight different planets that make up the solar system. And with these planets, they orbit the sun. And orbit is just another word for going around. And since we know the sun is a big star, we know that these planets, they orbit stars and that's what makes a solar system. Now for our solar system that we are a part of, there are some planets with a hard rocky surface and there are other planets that are full of gas. We also know some planets are really, really hot and there are other planets that are absolutely unbearably freezing. So for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the first four planets that are a part of our solar system. And these planets are going to be closer to the sun rather than further away from the sun. So most of these planets are going to be really hot. The first planet that is a part of our solar system is the planet Mercury. And Mercury is actually the smallest planet in the solar system. And while it looks like the moon, it's actually just a little bit bigger than the moon. And of course, it is considered a planet in the solar system. And since I mentioned it's the first planet, it's also the planet that is closest to our sun. Now I know what you might be thinking. You may be thinking Mercury's the hottest planet because it's closest to the sun. Actually, Mercury is not the hottest planet in the solar system. So you may be wondering, so what is the temperature like? What is the atmosphere like on Mercury? Mercury has no atmosphere at all. In fact, one side of Mercury can be really, really hot and the other side of Mercury can be really, really cold and there's no air on here, on Mercury. So with that, Mercury is also covered with lots and lots of craters, meaning this is a very rocky planet indeed. Mercury also orbits the sun very, very fast. It only takes about 88 days for Mercury to make a full orbit around the sun, which in terms of Earth days, that would be about 88 days or around three months. So very, very short. If we were able to live on Mercury, we would have a birthday every three months. The second planet from the sun happens to be Venus. Now, Venus is actually a planet that is close to size as our Earth. However, it is a very, very, very hot planet. In fact, Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. It is loaded with lots of volcanoes that are constantly erupting. And the atmosphere of Venus is surrounded with greenhouse gases that are extremely, extremely hot. And there is sulfuric acid that rains down on the planet. So if we were to try to live on Venus, we would basically be melted into complete liquid. Did you know that Venus spins in the other direction compared to the other planets in our solar system? The third planet in our solar system is a planet that we are all familiar with. It is our home planet and that is Earth. And as far as we know, Earth is the only planet in our solar system that can support life on there. 
The blue color that you see is going to be all of the water that Earth supplies us with. And Earth is about 70% water. The green part is all the land that we have on Earth, and that's the part of the Earth that we all live on. And Earth is sustainable because we have a healthy atmosphere. Not only that, but the white stuff that you see on Earth is all the clouds, meaning we have different weather to help control all the different temperatures and climates that we have on our Earth. Another cool feature to kind of help with all of the weather and to make sure we know when it's daytime and when it's nighttime is that we have one moon. Now, moons are not planets. We just call them moons. And Earth only has one moon. It's obviously going to be a part of our Earth and it orbits our Earth. And there are about eight phases that the moon makes and those phases of the moon are going to be either waxing or waning or full or going to be new moons is one of the few names of those phases of the moon. Now the moon does help create the beach waves in our oceans and as I mentioned before it also helps with the gravity that we have on our earth, which gravity is a force that keeps us on earth so that way we don't float around in space. And finally, our last rocky planet in the solar system after earth is going to be Mars. Now, that reddish orange color is all the dirt that Mars has but do not let that red color trick you into thinking it's a hot planet. So Mars is actually a very, very cold planet. In fact, on the top and the bottom parts of Mars, which are called polar ends, those are actually covered in ice, frozen ice. That's how cold it is on Mars. And not only that, Mars has really, really tall volcanoes and mountains. In fact, those volcanoes and mountains are the tallest in the whole solar system. So it's a lot bigger than our mountains on Earth. That reddish orange color of Mars is actually made up of iron and it has been oxidized on Mars. There's not a lot of atmosphere on Mars either. Now Mars is also home to many different rovers. NASA has sent in many different rovers to come and discover what Mars is and what it has to offer and if there was life in the past and if there may be an opportunity for humans to live on Mars someday. If you think we may be able to live on Mars someday, please share that down below. I would love to hear if you think we may live on Mars someday. For the next video coming up, I'm going to be sharing with you all about the gas planets that are a part of our solar system. And don't forget, if you have any other questions for me that you want me to do a future video on, please leave that down below in the comments. I'd be happy to do that video for you. And I will see you next time.